one thing that I did forget to mention in this week's activity is just how to do the discussion board um, activity. If you're not familiar with Screencast-O-Matic or other recording systems, this is what I'm. This is kind of what I'm using right now to record my screen and my voice. So the one that I'm I'm using currently is actually called OBS, and it's down at the bottom here. And this is what it looks like. It has the mirrored screen, so it looks kind of crazy right now, but it's showing my screen, and it's recording my voice as you can see it going up and down. So OBS is actually a really nice tool. It's free. OBS Studio is where you can find it. You can download it for Mac or Windows. It is a little easier to use on Windows, but um, it's, or at least to get set up to use on Windows. But OBS is the tool that I that I use to record the weekly sessions. But um, I think it's easier for if you're new to this to not use OBS. OBS is a little bit less user friendly than I think some other tools. So one of the ones that I mentioned, and probably most of you will use, is Screencast-O-Matic. And we just click on there and go to screencastomatic.com. And you can start recording for free. You just click on that. Um, you may have to install or launch something before you can uh, run it. And usually, it's again, it's easier a little bit on, on Windows. Um, and I think they've got some, most of the bugs worked out. I used to have some problems with some of the bugs that they had worked out before on Windows, but hopefully it's going to work for you. So basically what you do is you just take this um, Screencast-O-Matic interface that should come up like this, and you click Record to start recording, and it will record your voice and whatever is in this tri or rectangle on your screen. Um, you can also change that though. You can change to record screen. You can do, let's say, full screen just by dragging this to make it bigger and do your entire screen. Or maybe you can put it into a window. Um, however you want to do that. And you can change your preferences too. You can have different preferences for this, like the hotkey to start it recording. But I haven't used that too much. You can also say I want to re record my webcam. And let's see if it'll allow me to yeah, be my FaceTime camera. Good morning, hello. Um, or you can have it do both your webcam and your screen, so you can have yourself down at the bottom. So those are some things to be knowledgeable about a screencast omatic. Um, and then oh yeah, down here size, you can do full screen right there. That makes it easy. It'll fit the full screen in there. And that's what I usually do when I record. Notice too that there is a maximum time with Screencast-O-Matic. It won't allow more than 15 minutes of recording to happen. So you, you can upgrade Screencast-O-Matic and pay them money and they'll let you record for longer, but um, I, it's probably not good practice to record videos longer than 15 minutes for, let's say, high school students. Um, and there are a lot of there's research that backs that up actually attention spans will only last so long with this type of thing so you want to be engaging and you want to make sure that it's not a long recording we'll talk more about this as we get into that unit um, and then you can also choose where what microphone you should use the best thing to do actually is not what I'm doing now um, to do to add a microphone like a headset with a microphone instead of a built-in microphone so then you just hit record and we'll go ahead and record. It'll count down three, two, one, and I'll say hello, everybody. Here's my presentation. And then once you hit pause, it will allow you to continue recording after that. But let's say we're done with a full recording. Now, what do you do if you make a mistake in a recording? Well, I make lots of them in in current recordings, and so um, usually I just correct it within that same recording and move on, unless it's a real big faux pas, so to speak, and then I can just delete it and then try out try over again that's the trash can here to delete it then I hit done and you can add things yeah that's kind of cool it's got new things you can add music and so forth but I think that would be more distracting than anything else you can save this as a video file you can save the recording as an upload to Screencast-O-Matic or you can upload it to YouTube although I have had some problems in different systems uploading it straight to YouTube from Screencast-O-Matic the easiest option is probably just uploading it to Screencast-O-Matic. Um, if you don't have a YouTube account, you can click on that one. It will ask you to do some things to get that going. 
Um, you might want to log, you have to log into Screencast-O-Matic to have an account with which you upload it. When you're done with the process, it will give you an address and you can share this address with anyone you want to. They'll be able to view your video. So that makes it nice and easy to use. Um, there's also a tool called EduCreations that I mentioned. EduCreations is a whiteboard type tool. So if you don't like um, Screencast-O-Matic idea of recording your screen and a presentation, you can actually build your presentation in EduCreations. And you can go to that website and sign up as a teacher and then create your own recordings using an interactive, uh, yeah, it's an interactive whiteboard that will allow you to show those as well. But it's not as easy if you're familiar with PowerPoint. Um, it's harder to put together slides with EduCreations. Things aren't put in the right place necessarily for you like PowerPoint does. Um, but it is nice because you can draw on it as you record. And it's easier on an iPad to do EduCreations than, than on a computer, on a laptop. So that's something to be familiar with as well. So you'll pick one of these options. You could even use OBS Studio if you want to. Um, although it, it's a lot more in-depth to try to cover that. So if you're not familiar, then it might be a, a harder thing to do. Um, pick one of those options to do the discussion for this week.